Hey, dear saints, let's talk about the second commandment. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, use satanic arts, lie or deceive by his name, but call upon him in every trouble. Pray, praise, and give thanks. Dear saints, the second commandment is all about a name. Hey, Amy, great to see you. Jim, thanks for watching. Michelle, good to, good to have you here today. Do you see? When I call on your name and you hear it, you automatically listen. Someone is talking to me. A name is important. God's name is important. And God has promised in the second commandment to hear when you call upon him. His name is so powerful that it brought you, dear child of God, from death to life in your baptism. His name is so powerful that when it was placed upon you with water and the word, that it gave you now an eternal life with him. It gave you forgiveness of sins and the promise that you will be with him always. That's a powerful name. And in the commandment, the curb that stops us, that says this far and no farther, says this, you should not curse. Now, when we think about cursing, we often have these two turned around. Cursing is when we use God's name in a bad way. When we use God's name, calling upon him to do something I want him to do. I want you to damn that person because of what they did. That's cursing. And yes, OMG is cursing. Don't be a fool. It's still using God's name. Swearing, on the other hand, is something a little bit different. Swearing is when you stand before the altar of God with your new husband or wife and you say, I swear, or I will, until death parts us. Swear is to make an oath. In the military, when you enter and they have you take the military oath, that is swearing. When you stand in the courtroom and the judge says, raise your right hand, repeat after me, that's swearing. Use these carefully. Do not curse. Do not swear. Because God's name is powerful, and he wants it to be used in the right way. Satanic arts. Here we go. You know what these are. These are anything that would cause us to trust in them so that we would think they have power to tell us our future. Oh, magic eight ball, will he like me? Try again tomorrow. The magic eight ball is a simple way that Satan uses to pull us out of the trust of God and into something else. It's the same thing that tarot cards do. It's the same thing that a Ouija board does. It's the same thing when you open your fortune cookie or you read your horoscope and you think, now I will have a great day. It's pulling us from the first commandment. It's pulling us away from fearing and loving and trusting in God above all things. All right, dear saints, where is the gospel in the second commandment? Well, the gospel is here. God, who has revealed himself to you, who has said, I want you to be my child, has also said, when you call, I will listen. We pray in the Lord's Prayer, our Father. We pray to our Father in heaven, and we know he hears and he answers. Imagine that the God of all the universe is wanting to hear from you. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will honor me. The second commandment is all about God's name and him giving you his gifts. Remember your baptism, dear saints. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. Follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.